Today, we are talking about churches. That's right. Bear with me and you'll see why. While I'm not an especially religious person, when I travel, I love to go to churches, um, especially in Europe and Latin America. These churches often have been sitting there for hundreds to even close to a thousand years, and there is a load of history behind them. Um, they're always free to enter for the most part, and um, inside you'll usually find lots of art, extremely beautiful architecture, ornate uh, features of the church. You'll get to see usually beautiful instruments. You might even see a saint or two. And um, I don't know, there's something really nice about going into a giant, giant church that is essentially empty and you just feel very at one with yourself. <clears throat> you don't have to be religious to enjoy them, but I do suggest going to them. So with that being said, let's jump right into the best churches that I've visited so far in the world. Um, and now some of these churches, um, there are some churches that I've left off the list, but that's because when I visited them, I forgot to get footage. <laughs> so just realized that there's a whole lot more, but these are the ones that I do have footage for and they're pretty awesome. And if you're in these places, you should probably check them out. Let's get started. No list of the world's top churches would be complete without St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, Italy. I visited the Vatican City many years ago and was blown away by it all. St. Peter's Basilica was built in the 1500s and is the center of the Catholic religion. It's massive, including many different chapels and architectural features. The Vatican itself is also pretty cool to explore as it is one of the smallest countries in the world and the only country located entirely within a city. St. Thomas in New York City is an Episcopal church located at 53rd and 5th, just a short four minute walk from the more famous St. Patrick's Cathedral. Built in 1913, the exterior of this church will certainly grab your attention, and the interior is simply stunning. You'll discover beautiful stained glass above the altar, a wonderfully large pipe organ, and sculptures of more than 40 saints and bishops. It's also important to note the Episcopalians are completely accepting and affirming of the LGBT community, so you'll be welcomed no matter what. The Cathedral Basilica of St. John the Baptist is located in Savannah, Georgia. The church is a sight to behold, with its twin spires reaching to the sky and a beautiful interior to explore. This French Gothic style church boasts pointed arches on its exterior with Italian marble, Austrian stained glass, and Persian rugs on its interior. It's definitely worth discovering as you explore the wonderfully charming and liberal city of Savannah. Located in Barcelona, Spain, La Sagrada Familia is not only one of the most magnificent churches I've ever visited, but it may well be one of the most extraordinary buildings in the world. Designed by the incredible Catalan architect Antoni Gaudí, La Sagrada Familia is designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Construction began on the church in 1882 and combines Gothic and Art Nouveau forms to create this modernist masterpiece. Fun fact, La Sagrada Familia is still under construction nearly 140 years later. The church's design takes nature as its inspiration, contains no right angles and few straight lines, and is covered in grand facades depicting biblical stories. Trust me, this is one church you must see in your lifetime, but be sure to purchase your tickets in advance of your trip, as demand to experience this church is high. The Metropolitan Cathedral of Saints Vitus, Wenceslas, and Aldebert is located in Prague Castle in the Czech Republic and is more commonly known as St. Vitus Cathedral. The church is a fine example of Gothic architecture and is the largest church in the country. As you tour Prague Castle, you are certain to also visit this church, which contains the tombs of Bohemian kings and Holy Roman emperors. You can even see the ornate tomb of St. Vitus himself and relics from St. Wenceslas. Yeah the king from the Christmas song? The castle's construction began in 1344, and it was completed in 1929, though a church building has stood at this location since 925 AD during the reign of King Wenceslas. 
Built during the reign of Emperor Hadrian more than 1,894 years ago, the Pantheon is certainly the oldest church on this list. The Pantheon has served as a church dedicated to St. Mary and the Martyrs since the 7th century, but before that it was dedicated to all the gods of pagan Rome. It is one of the best preserved of all ancient Roman buildings and is an architectural and engineering marvel. To this day, the Pantheon's dome is still the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome with the height to and the diameter of the interior circle both at 142 feet. The square surrounding the Pantheon is a great place to grab a gelato and take in the view. A visit to Rome must include this ancient wonder. The last church on this list is actually a group of churches known as the Painted Monasteries of Bukovina, which are designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Located in northeastern Romania, these churches are certainly an out-of-the-way destination, yet totally worth visiting. Known as one of the most picturesque treasures of Romania, the monasteries are painted with elaborate frescoes both inside and out dating to the 15th and 16th centuries. Depicting biblical stories, the frescoes are masterpieces of Byzantine art, and these churches represent a one-of-a-kind architectural experience in Europe. Well, that's it for this list, but stay tuned for the next list as I cover six more churches that you might enjoy visiting around the world.